we're going to be tying a spring nymph that deserves a spot in your fly box. To start, we'll grab some small wire. Here I'm using green, as well as some brassy wire in chartreuse. Select a single strand of chartreuse and two green wires. However, as for all of my patterns, you can use whatever colors you like to best match the bugs in your rivers. Secure them to the hook shank and begin wrapping well into the bend of the hook. Once complete, reverse your thread's direction and we'll begin to build up a smooth transition to form our body. Grab your wires and begin to wrap them forward in closed touching spirals, ensuring that the green remains in contact with the chartreuse, continuing to do so until we reach our thread. Once complete, we'll secure, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind our wire and helicoptering the excess free. Bring your thread to the head of the fly and grab some mylar. Here I'm using pearl. Secure the mylar to the head of the fly, wrapping back towards our wire. Once complete, use your thread to build up a body that's even with your wire, leaving a small amount of room at the head of the fly. And grab some pearl UV crystal flash, selecting four strands and securing them to the head of the fly. Fold your strands over and secure them back towards our wire. Once complete, snip the excess free. Next, we'll fold our mylar over, secure it to the head of the fly, and snip the excess free. With this complete whip finish to build up a small head, Snip your thread free and paint over the back, head section, and our body with some UV resin. This will add shine and durability to our pattern. And this is the Juju Betis. This particular pattern works well to imitate blue wing olives. However, it can represent a variety of insects. If you'd like to win this fly, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.